What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great day. All right, guys, I'm going back to the moon video I just recently did, um, and it's in response to a couple of comments that I had gotten. Now, they're not com considered bad, but nonetheless, I've got them. Now, this is one you just put out, what is, what is being hidden in this Apollo 11 photo, and I did this here, right? Now, I got these two comments from two different people here, and I'm going to show you them right there, from S. Lord. Well, just had to comment. First, people have to be very, very careful when using any digitized image to zoom in on. The one you use is low res 80 by 638 pixels at about 150 kilobyte size, a very compressed image, which is true. Try this JPEG at this length. It's over 4 megs in size with a res of 3900 by 3900. Big difference, right? So there's the link. So I, I did click on the link, and I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Second, any JPEG has many math algorithms that render digitized images as lossy, meaning resolution is lost and fudged. So in essence, they cannot be used as detailed sh shape determination. And third, think about the original transparency film they used slide film of the day. How old were the 70 millimeter frames actually digitized? Uh, there is known color uh, die shifting and bleed through. So if you don't have the originals, you can't make any serious conclusions. Okay. The other one, uh, live to shred said, if you download the high resolution version of this image, there are no anomalies. You are using a low resolution picture that shows signs of compression as you zoom in. Are they correct? Yes and no. Um, is S Lord saying the telling the truth? Yeah. But as I've always said, low res photos will actually as you zoom in just a hair, but you don't have to go into the point where it's so pixelated and broken up that you can't see the photo, right, or the image. But you can literally see the tampering done easier. At least I can. Now, maybe everybody else can't. I don't know. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, again, this is the video I did. And you, can, you, know, you can go back to it and check it out again. But let's have a look here because what I did was I grabbed the photo. I'm going to show you why the high res is just as bad, uh, if not worse, or better because it actually shows something else I didn't see in the last lower resolution photo. So let's check this out. All right, a lot of you guys are real hip to this. You guys have been studying this thing. It's pretty easy to, to identify and see things that are missing. Like, you know, again, you know, these people don't get it. It's like they're saying low res, but it doesn't have to be low or high res in order to see where is the actual shadow around this little flagpole. You can see it here in this other marker. You can see it right here. Where is the shadow going this way? Now, we know the shadows are going this way because every shadow here, and we're going to just go up here, you can see, like, right here on the lander, going this way, this way, this way. Now, guys, some of you people have said, um, well, the shadows are a little bit different. Like, when you look at the astronaut, okay, you can see he's, the shadow's a little different. Well, not a whole lot. I mean, you can see the, you can see the shadows going this way, okay, and look at the actual they're a little bit different, but here's the difference. It depends on terrain, how big an object is, has everything to do with it. You can look this stuff up, research it, you'll find that that's the truth, right? Uh, over here, this one here is kind of so-so, this, this instrument that they have over here. I believe that one actually has, you can see it right here. It looks like it's got the bigger piece here at the top, right here in the shadow. And maybe a little bit coming here from the actual, the actual tripod itself, right? Now, here's another thing. When I pointed out the actual landing gear of the lander, you can see the actual shadows going like this because that one is not correct. That goes like that. Okay, where's the one in this one? This should be doing this right here. Look at the others. Look at the others. That's the way that should be. Or maybe even slightly more this way. If you compare these other two, because you can't see the fourth one in the other corner, but you can see that by looking at that. That's, you, should see a, you should see a shadow there. You should see a shadow here again on this uh, on this little flag uh, post, right? Why aren't you seeing them? Well, there's a reason. It's actually manipulation. If you've got a good eye, you can see this right here. There's an actual line right here going like this, okay? That's a manipulation line, okay? It's the same thing as down here. Now, here's a good example. You can see the actual landing pads right here on the, on, the, on the landing feet itself, or the landing legs, we'll call it. This is crap. You can see it actually goes up and under this manipulation. So when you zoom into this, watch what happens. Now, of course, it can be very clear, but you can see the uneven going up, up like this, up and down. This has been airbrushed, okay? It's been manipulated. Now, 
listen, people can believe whatever they want. I'm going to show you something right now. Once you get into this photo, now look at this. It looks like it's kind of blended in, but let's jump out of this. Now, is there any manipulation here? Let's say, hmm, imagine that. Now, funny part about it is people are saying, well, these are all footprints right here. No, they're not. This is just spaces in between the manipulation they have done. You can't see a footprint here. I mean, no matter where you look, you can't find a footprint there. It's actually been airbrushed. A lot of this has been airbrushed, and all you've seen is a space in between the airbrushing, which is right here. Okay? Now, funny enough, look at this back area, which I was telling you guys, right? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to zoom in. This has not changed. This is where the actual footing is, the very base of the footing. Look at this. It goes like this, and you can see this pretty darn clear. That's where it goes, and guess what? It goes underneath this this right here. Why is it doing that? Okay? It's because it's being airbrushed. You can see that right there. Let me just go like this. Go a little bit further in now so you can see that. See the way that's airbrushed? Here's the other part. That's, that's pretty funky. Does this. Goes up like this. All the way up here. Goes back up like this. You can still see whatever's behind this. It's got that gold color. See it? Right in here. It's been... <laughs> This thing has been manipulated. This whole thing goes like this, up, and goes up along this leg, and goes over to here. Why else do you think you don't see this other this other shadow? Because this has been manipulated out. The original photo, it's been something's been overlaid and obfuscated over it, so you can't see it. Now, I'm going to go back over to this part. Again, coincidental that this happens to be a blue area, or a, like a grayish blue, and check this out. It happens to be right there on the, on the back, just on the back side of that little flagpole and guess what there's not one shadow and you guys have seen this so kudos to you for seeing this you guys picked this thing apart instantly now i'm going to get to right back to that in a minute because i want to show you guys something so it's right here you can look see these white pieces in the back right here you can see them just below going just below the surface of this airbrushing you can actually see that just below it right here you can actually see the shape of it going down like this and coming back up. These right here, look at the way this thing's airbrushed. I mean, listen, you'll get the link to this too. You guys can check this out yourself. You can literally see airbrushing going like this. It almost looks like these weird pipes going like this and then going down to the ground. You guys can see that. See that? And going down like this into the ground. Whatever the hell that thing is, there's multiple. Now, I think they're, they're part of something much larger. And this is this whole area is not flat. Like they, they, they want you to believe. Let me, notice this area right here in the back. And it's going to be one little detail I want you to pay attention to because this is wild. See this right here? Why is that completely black right there? Because it's not, it's not flat like they want you to believe. Like it just goes straight off. This is actually, this whole area right here is vertical. This is vertical. Now watch this. There's one little item in here I want you guys to pay attention to. It's right here. Okay. And it just stands out. Now, this right here, these white areas, those are actually part of this, this anomaly that they pretty much block completely, okay? Now, here's another thing. This object right here, you can see this, when well, an object, but the actual manipulation it did right here, you can see when you start to take steps right here, they've actually, this is another part of, of the, the manipulation obfuscation process. Watch. As you can start to see, as I darken this up, check that out. Now, here's this little piece I was telling you about. Well, let's do this. When you check this piece out here, this back of this with this area, notice how there seems to be some kind of weird shape or something right in here. See that? Okay. Now, see that? I don't know what that is, but clearly there's something hidden right here, and it's up against this, this lander. And this is all manipulation, complete manipulation, all in the back here, right? Okay. Keep an eye on this little piece right here. Watch this. What the hell is that? It literally, now I'm going to go ahead and change this into the black plate. Check this out. What is that sitting right there? It almost looks like some kind of weird bracket. It's on this square piece. Almost looks like you can hook a chain to it or you can hook something to this thing, right? See that? It's sticking out of nowhere, right there. Now, if I back out a little bit, and you guys can pause it anywhere, as usual. Okay? Now, here's, the, here's what gets even more bizarre. 
When they show this right here, everything looks completely flat, right? I'm going to go ahead and put it back into CMYK. Well, first of all, what is this? If it's their instrument, how is it buried in the lunar surface, right? And you got these little white pieces here, and it looks like it's part of the actual lander itself. Well, let's have a let's have a better look at that. Oh, why is it that we're seeing what looks like right here? This eerie right here is actually manipulation. It's a drawing over the actual photo. Let me show you what I mean by that. If you notice right here, I don't know if this is any lighter. Let me do it this way. Right here, you can see one. It's white all inside here. This piece here is part of whatever the hell this is in the ground. Right here, another straight white piece right there. And there's something that it's got like a feature on it or something right there. This is all white right here. See that? There's actually something right there. Okay. So this area right here actually has height to it. There is no, it's actually like, you know, maybe a foot and a half off the ground. Meaning it's part of the ground, but it's standing above the ground about a foot, foot and a half. These objects are being covered over by paint. They just drew over it. They're, they're drawing these things in and on top of these objects. So you can't see what's next to this lander, right? So you can see that right in there. In fact, I'm going to bring up the exposure a little bit. So you guys can probably see it a little bit better, right? Here, here, and then here. But look how it goes down in, in behind or in the blue. This is all white in here. It's the same. This piece is the same. Again, they've drawn all over this stuff. And on top of it, just did any kind of, you know, just drew anything just to block whatever the shape of these objects are. They try to match that shape and just block it over it. Why would they do that? Why? Because there's something there. Again, let's go back to this piece over here, right there. And then you've got this shiny pieces sitting right in here. Just little pieces of it just sitting right there. And again, looks like more pipe sticking out right there. You can see look, it looks like one, two, coming out like this. And like I said, they look like a couple pipes. You got this piece here, looks like a friggin' bracket and it's perfect guys, that's what's bizarre. See that? I'm going to zoom into that real quick. Right there. Got the squared off, perfectly square piece. What looks like a bracket. Oops. Go like this. And there you go. We don't want it to be too broken up, so we'll back out a little bit. But again, guys, look at all this junk right here on the ground. Look at that. Come on. You got these pieces over here. This is the reason why you don't see the shadowing. And again, check this out. You can see, I'm going to go to right here. I'm going to see if I can get this the best I can for you guys. Right here, if you notice the texture in this area alone is different than any other area. Watch when I zoom in a little bit. You can see what it looks like. You can see the outline of this right here. The texture is different from the surrounding area. You can see that they've man manipulated or obfuscated something out of this. See this right here? right here compared to the rest of the background so the question is what are they hiding simple as that like this right here right back to the normal completely taken out when you go to this you can see right there there's something in the ground you can see where they try to airbrush it out right there and try to block at the bottom half of that the back piece is no different you can see where they try to take that out as well these have been tampered with. It's as simple as that. They've, they've messed with these photos. Doesn't matter how you look at it. Whether high res, low res, doesn't matter. They've messed with these photos. That's all there is to it. Um, and like I said, to me, I always started with the low res because it's easy to see these manipulation obfuscations. And if you could find a high res, great. It doesn't really matter, though. I mean, you can see the slight difference is what I found in the first one to the second one. So we have more proof of more manipulation obfuscation, right? Anyway, guys. Um, you know, like I said, I got some other ones coming up, so stay tuned for those. I just want to do a uh, second part to this and show you guys, hey, high or low res doesn't matter. Either way, they've been manipulated. Anyway, guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.